The next layer I want to look at for Fee Heist is the Glittering Grotto. Your objective will be to find seven pouches of gems that spawn at random throughout this grotto. The walkthrough will show you a number of locations that gems might possibly spawn at, including many hidden rooms within, but the exact location yours will appear will vary each time you go in. Nonetheless, there should be sufficient information in this walkthrough to enable you to always find your seven required pouches. As you head into the dungeon, the first thing you'll encounter is one of the many tripwire traps, but this one can be easily be sidestepped around. There is also an NPC on the right here, but they never move and can be snuck past in stealth on the left of the corridor. The first possible location for a gemstone pouch is in a hidden room on the left here. There is another tripwire trap just inside the doorway, and it's best just to disable this one before acquiring the gems. Just outside of the room, the corridor forks, and I find it best to always use the right fork. There is a poison dart trap on the floor to be careful of, and a lantern carrying NPC to watch out for. But there is another hidden room on the right here that sometimes also contains a pouch. The sentry is actually quite easy to get past, he spends a lot of time in the alcove enabling you to get past him, but if you need to wait for him to pass, this room or the basket opposite the room are always perfect to hide in. Beware of another tripwire trap here, I always seem to fall foul of it for some reason. However there is another possible spawn location for the gems to be found amongst the crates ahead, just be aware that there is another NPC who patrols in this region. He can be snuck past once he bends down to look at the boxes by hugging the corridor on the left. This corridor has another poison dart trap on the floor to be careful of, but the next possible spawn point is just after the trap. We are now approaching the main room, which is stretched across several floors, and with multiple sentries patrolling back and forth to keep an eye out for. Small tip, it is possible to reach the top left corner of this room quickly once entering by jumping off this ledge here, being aware of the poison dart trap and NPCs nearby. However, in the top left is a hidden room that may also spawn a possible gem pouch. Another location where the gems might turn up is right at the very bottom of the room, just be careful of yet another tripwire trap in the water here. Also, just be aware that on the next level up there is one of the lantern bearing sentries walking back and forth. In the bottom right hand corner of the main room on the mid level there is another side room where a pouch of gems can sometimes be found not far from the campfire. And also on the far side of this room there is a hidden entrance into another room where pouches also spawn on occasion. One thing worth noting is that sometimes gems will respawn at points that you've already collected from, so if you're stuck for finding your final pouches go back and check locations you've already done. Be aware there is a poison dart trap on the ground right by the doorway between this room and the main room as well. As you can see in the video there is a spawn point on the corner of the rope bridge here. And a handy bit of advice, it is possible to hide in the middle of the bridge and avoid being detected by the sentries that patrol on either side. At the very top here there is a pouch right beside the poison dart trap, also be on the lookout for the sentry that's fast approaching us. Should you find that you're running short of gems, there is another gem that sometimes spawns in the room just on the top right hand side of the main room, however it can be a little tricky to reach without being spotted. To get to it you have to follow this sentry in, being mindful there is another NPC sat by the campfire just off to the right. Then once the sentry has stopped you need to skirt around the edge of his lantern zone to get behind the pillar and boxes here. Once the sentry moves back again, you'll have space and time to quickly nip in and grab that pouch. Unfortunately his lantern does fill up the entire corridor width of where you're trying to go, so to get past him again you need to do the reverse of what you did previously, hiding behind the pillar and boxes until he returns to the end of the room. Whilst we're waiting for him to return, I will note that I have left out of this walkthrough the corridor and room that you see that goes around the top left hand side of the map. There are gem pouches that do spawn there, but the NPC patrols are also pretty thick and they are a lot more difficult to get past. However, I found that if you know the locations I've shown here in this video, and remembering that sometimes they respawn, you should never have a need to go into that area to get a gemstone pouch. Once you've acquired the seven pouches, you will just then need to leave the grotto before the timer runs out.
Once again, this NPC we passed earlier can be snuck past by hugging the opposite side of the corridor. However, you can also hide behind these wooden beams and wait for him to walk past. Also be aware that the traps sometimes respawn, so be careful of those. The main boss patrols in the area ahead, but is very easy to get past. You just need to wait until they're facing down the corridor on the right and then you'll be free to carry on up onto the left. There is a basket on the corner which you may sometimes need to use to wait for the boss to be in the right position. And as you head up here, just watch out for that first NPC who is now on your left by sneaking by on the right and remembering that one last tripwire trap ahead. And that is the Glittering Grotto completed, hopefully in time for another perfect run. I would be pleased if you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. If you're wondering how I can get so close to some of the NPCs without being spotted or can move as fast as I do in stealth, I'd highly recommend checking out the first video in this series about the Elder Scrolls Online's Thief Heist, which gives a large number of hints and tips that you may find useful. Completing perfect runs of Thief Heist will reward you with chapters of the Thief's Guild motif, and you can check out what this outfit looks like with TLine's video that I will link in the bottom right.